symmetrical fault analysis problem number 2 a three phase 5 mea 6.6 kv alternator with a reactance of 8 percentage is connected to a feeder of series impedance of 0.12 plus j 0.48 ohms per phase per kilometer the transformer is rated at 3 mva 6.6 kv bar 33 kv and has a reactance of 5 percentage determine the fault current supplied by the generator operating under no load with a voltage of 6.9 kV. When a three phase symmetrical fault occurs at a point 15 km along the feeder. First, we need to draw the single line diagram. So here in this question, it is given an alternator is connected to a 15 km long feeder. In between, we will be having a transformer. So you can draw a generator or alternator and you will be having a transformer and then you will be having a feeder and this feeder is of 15 km feeder ok at the 15 km point the fault occurs at the center under this condition we need to determine the fault current supplied by the generator operating under no load with a voltage of 6.9 kV that is the 6.9 kV is here no load voltage so the single line diagram will be like this the no load voltage is given and one thing we need to understand here is the feeder impedance is given in ohm per phase per kilometer. So total kilometer is 15 kilometer. So per kilometer the impedance is 0.12 plus j 0.48 ohm. Step 1. Draw reactance diagram and find the parameters in per unit. So here is a single line diagram. So to find the parameters of the reactance diagram first we need to uh, divide this uh, single line diagram into number of sections based on the transformer. So the transformer primary side section 1 and secondary side section 2 and the base value is not given here so we assume the generator as a base. So base MVA is 5 MVA given in generator end and base KV is 6.6 .6 kV. So the generator is located at uh, section 1 so the base KV on section 1 is 6.6 .6 kV and base KV on section 2 you can calculate using the formula base KV on HT side of transformer will be equal to base kV on LT side of transformer into the HT voltage of transformer divided by LT voltage of transformer. So base kV on LT side is the section 1 kV that is 6.6 .6 into the HT voltage of transformer is 33 divided by LT voltage side of the transformer is 6.6. .6. So we will be getting 33 kV as a base kV on section 2. Now we can determine the per unit reactance of each component. So here you will be having three components one is generator, transformer and feeder. So first we calculate generator and transformer using the formula x per unit nu equal to x per unit given into kv given divided by kv nu into mea nu divided by mea given. Make a note here nu represent the base value. So x per unit given is 8 percentage in the generator side so 0 0.08 into kv given is 6.6 .6 kv and nu is nu at the section 1 is 6.6 .6 kv into mea nu that is MVA base is 5 MVA and MVA given is also 5 MVA for generator. So we will be getting 0 0.08 per unit. Then second one transformer X per unit given is 5 percentage and KV given with respect to primary it is 6.6 .6 KV and KV new that is base value with respect to primary that is under section 1 which is 6.6 .6 KV whole square into MVA new that is MVA base is 5 MVA divided by MVA given in the transformer is 3 MVA 5 by 3 that will be equal to 0 0.083 per unit and third one feeder so for feeder you need to use this formula x per unit nu equal to actual value of x divided by the base impedance so actual value of x is 0.12 plus j 0.48 ohm per phase per kilometer so for 15 kilometer you need to multiply 15 you will be getting 1.8 plus j 7.2 and z base will be equal to KVB square divided by MBAB and KVB is base KV under this feeder point. The feeder is located at section 2. At section 2 your KV value will be 33. So 33 square divided by MBAB is 5. So you will be getting 217.8 ohm. This is your base impedance. So X per unit nu equal to X actual by base impedance that will be equal to 1.8 plus J 7.2 divided by 217.8 that will be equal to 0 0.0082 plus j 0.033 and here is a reactance diagram for generator you will be having a reactance followed by the uh, induced emf 
EG double dash subtransient value and here you will be having a transformer J.083 and the here is your feeder 0 0.0082 plus J.033. This is a complete reactance diagram of this particular problem. And now the step 2. In this problem, the generator is operating under no load condition that is unloaded condition. So the load current is neglected. There are two conditions here. One is since IL is neglected that is load current is neglected, assume the Thevenin voltage equal to 1 angle 0 if no load voltage is not given in the problem. Condition is we need to assume Thevenin voltage equal to 1 angle 0 if no load voltage is not given in the problem. And second condition calculate V Thevenin if no load voltage is given in the problem. Using the given no load voltage we need to calculate the Thevenin voltage. So from transformer turns ratio we can write N2 by N1 is equal to E1 by E2 where E1 is actual voltage, E2 is no load voltage and N2 is voltage in secondary winding and N1 is voltage in primary winding. So we need actual voltage that is our Thevenin voltage E1 equal to E2 into N2 by N1. E2 is no load voltage which is given in the problem as 6.9 kV and N2 for the transformer is 33 and N1 is 6.6 .6 voltage in the primary winding and you will be getting 34.5 kV and the Thevenin voltage should be in per unit. So Thevenin voltage per unit will be equal to E1 actual voltage divided by the base voltage. So actual voltage is 34.5 kV divided by the base value at section 2 that is where the fault occurs it is 33 and that will be equal to 1.04 per unit this is your V Thevenin. So the fault occurs at this particular point so at this particular point which is under the section 2 so the base kV will be 33 kV and step 3 we need to find the Thevenin impedance is at Thevenin. So from the reactance diagram remove all the sources so you will be having this uh, such diagram and while seeing this diagram you can see all the three uh, reactances are in series simply add all the three reactances you will be getting the Z Thevenin as 0 0.008 plus J 0.193 per unit and now you can draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit and find the fault current. So Thevenin equivalent circuit is a Thevenin voltage source behind the Thevenin impedance ZTH. So ZTH is this one 0.193 angle 87.626 and the Thevenin voltage we calculated in the previous step it is 1.04. The expression for fault current is V Thevenin divided by Z Thevenin plus EZF that is fault impedance and in this particular problem the fault impedance is not specified so you can substitute as 0. Okay, V Thevenin is 1.04 divided by Z Thevenin value plus the fault impedance value 0 and you will be getting 5.38 angle minus 87.626 and this is your per unit value of current fault current. So in order to calculate the actual value of fault current, we need the base value of current. So actual value of fault current equal to per unit value of fault current into base current. The base current expression is MBAB into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into KV. And the fault occurs at section 2, you need to substitute the KV at section 2, that is 33 KV. MBA is 5 into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into 33, you will be getting 87.47. And you can substitute here, you will be getting the actual value of fault current as 470.58 angle minus 87.62 ampere.